Hey guys, I'm Jason Rosidlo, just across from the Los Angeles Convention Center to give you a preview of the 2024 LA Auto Show and Automobility LA. Here's what you need to know. All of the fun and excitement kicks off with Automobility LA, the show's media and industry day on Thursday, November 21st. It will include a wide range of groundbreaking debuts and announcements and a conference program featuring the leading minds in automotive and technology. These experts will explore the most pressing industry issues in a series of presentations and panel discussions from Automobility LA's main stage. 100% we're going to see some very exciting new brand new never seen before in real life uh, or never seen you never seen ever uh, product so we've got some very exciting product debuting at the show um, if you are in the media if you are in the industry if you are interrelated to this industry you sell to this business you do business with this business you must come to Automobility LA it is it is the annual all industry gathering right is the one where we all come together and what's cool about it is we really make it a networking event you know it's fun like we want this to be a fun day we kick it off with a 7 a.m with a networking breakfast and it's like it's la so it's food trucks but it's gourmet it's gourmet food trucks we have you know coffee bars around we have you know all the debuts the exciting press events i mean there's some really exciting launches this year the following companies will make presentations at Automobility LA. Ford Pro, Isuzu, Nikola, GM Involve, Motive Electric Trucks, and Bollinger Motors. There's some stuff that like we haven't even talked about, like a, a company called Exodus Rigs, and you can look them up. They're a luxury RV that's very cool. It's a pop up. It's like an EV RV and a travel trailer. It's so cool. And it's debuting at the show, right? And so that's something else that's debuting at the show. Several awards will be presented during Automobility LA. The Zivas, also known as the Zero Mission Vehicle Awards, Plug in America's Drive Electric Awards, the Hispanic Motor Press Awards. And the finalists for the 2025 North American Car, Truck, and Utility Vehicle of the Year Awards. You know, the Zivas basically uh, was introduced in 2021, and it, it kind of sat quiet for two years because, quite frankly, there wasn't a lot of new models and a lot of innovation and change in, in the product lineup. But this year, the EV product mix is so wide right now, and we're going to see so many of them at the LA Auto Show that we have to bring it back and celebrate it. And I think with where the industry is headed, we'll probably see this year, year after year. But we were, are excited to see who is going to win. And the unique thing about the Zivas, and this is a great place to talk about it, is it's a fan voted award. You know, I talked about North American Car and Truck of the Year being selected by journalists, right? Well, you know, if you're at home and you love cars and you want to have a say in what car you think should win the awards, this is a chance for the fans to be able to vote. Then the doors swing open for the 2024 LA Auto Show Public Show Days from November 22nd through December 1st. The show runs for 10 full days, and yes, it is even open on Thanksgiving Day. I think EV trucks this year are going to have a moment at the show. When you think about all of the electric trucks that are going to be available to see touch, feel, drive, as well as future product that's coming. Like, you know, Ram has a future EV truck. I believe we're going to see it. I'm not 100% sure they haven't confirmed with us. Um, but we're also going definitely going to see the Chevy Silverado EV, which is getting a lot of really exciting attention. And Rivian is there. So, yeah. and Ford Lightning. Can't leave out Ford Lightning. Yeah. So. Lightning, that's a very good one there. Yeah, EV trucks and EV trucks and Hummer and GM, GMC Silverado EV. I mean, that's a lot of EV trucks, right? So I think EV trucks are definitely going to have a moment at the show. The LA Auto Show 
is a must-attend event for prospective car buyers, industry executives, influencers, car enthusiasts, and for families wanting to enjoy an unforgettable day out during the holiday season. Held at the Los Angeles Convention Center, the LA Auto Show contributes several hundred million dollars to the city's economy, stimulates the local job market, and is the number one revenue generator for the convention center. Some of the most exciting, you know, kind of uh, re-additions, I would say, to the show is uh, Porsche is back this year. That was um, unfortunate last year. They had to sit out because they did a very large uh, event that was kind of took all their time and bandwidth. Uh, but they're back this year. And, you know, we are the best, I believe, you know, don't quote me on this, but I believe Southern California is the best selling Porsche market. So, you know, we have a lot of aficionados, right? Mm -hmm. um, also, from a you know from a new product uh, standpoint, um, Volvo is back in the show for a test drive. That's probably it might be an exclusive. I don't know if we've even announced that one yet, um, but that's happening. You can test drive Volvos. You can test drive Rivians on the electric vehicle test track, which is also returning. Um, some other exciting brands back in the show: GMC with the new Hummer EV. Buick is back. Um, yeah, just a lot of exciting and some new stuff too that nobody's ever seen in auto shows, such as the Ineos. Okay. And I also see that uh, Stellantis is back after skipping last year. Yes. And you know, it's funny, like, I think me, you and I could say Stellantis and we know what we mean, but I think we always have to remember that like, for most people, Stellantis is who? And <laughs> what we're talking about, most people, <laughs> is we're talking about Jeep, right? The exciting Jeep brands, which, you know, what's so exciting about Jeep is the way they do their activations at shows, and especially our show, is they do something called Camp Jeep. So it's this, and it's kind of crazy, right? Because I hadn't done it for a few years and I got back on it last uh, year ago and um, I was able to do it at, at a show and it is like a really kind of a crazy thrill ride, honestly. And when you get to see what these Jeeps can do, it's pretty amazing. So it's kind of this indoor ride, right? I know you're thinking like, wait a second, the Jeeps are going to be driving around inside the, the show, which they can actually do. But the way Jeep is doing it this year is they're doing it all with their 4xe product. And so it's actually going to be EV Jeeps, well, the EV portion of the ride, right? And then they'll charge them up and so it'll always be electric. So Jeep is back on top of that. I'm excited about Jeep, obviously. Who doesn't love a Jeep? Uh, Ram truck, of course. Ram, amazing trucks. Also, under that umbrella, we have, you know, exciting Italian brands like Alfa Romeo, Fiat, right? More in the premium category like Alfa Romeo. And of course... Dodge, right? You know, classic, the Charger. There's going to be some really cool stuff around the Charger this year. You got to come check that out. And Chrysler. We've seen a lot of popularity from automakers in wanting to, you know, have you touch and feel their car and then go, hey, you want to feel it move like right here, right now? You can just kind of walk right over, get in that vehicle and go on a hot lap inside right there in the booth. So we have a couple of in in vehicle, in booth rides, and those are going to be executed. Um, it was really cool is, well, I love seeing this collaboration because I've never seen this at any other show, is this year, and we had it last year as well, but it's kind of, uh, it's been uh, improved upon this year. We've got Volkswagen and Nissan sharing a space. So they're kind of like neighbors, right? And they share a, a space for their EV track. So you can go in on now on these indoor ones, you more just ride, you don't drive, but it gives you a real sense of how the vehicle moves. It lets you, you know, there's an expert driving around, you get a real, it's, you know, it's funny. One of our, um, one of my coworkers kids was at the show and I said, Hey, what was your favorite part of the show? He's like nine years old. And he was like, he was like the Nissan and Volkswagen test track. I was like, oh, okay. That was maybe not, I was expecting something. Yeah, well, that, that Corvette or something crazy that he saw, he loved the test ride, right? So people love the rides, but they do give you a great sense of it. And what's nice is that it moves very quickly, right? So you don't have to spend, you know, a ton of time doing it if you want to really experience the most. So Nissan and Volkswagen are going to have a good mix of product on both. Then additionally, we have, um, Hyundai doing their EV test track inside their 
booth as well. And they have a lot of really great EVs. So, you know, a lot of cool stuff to experience from Hyundai. Then we also have, uh, I told you about Camp Jeep, which is the indoor uh, Jeep ride, which is also going to be run by EV Jeeps, but uh, those Jeeps are plug-in hybrid. And we have Ford Bronco doing Bronco Mountain, which is, I would say like the, the dueling roller coasters of the show, right? We have Camp Jeep and then we have Bronco Mountain. But what's really cool about Bronco Mountain this year, and this has never been done in our show, and I don't know in any show, is the ride actually starts indoors. So you, you're in the Ford booth, which is always a stunning booth. It's beautiful. I know what it's going to look like. It's going to look great this year. Then you can kind of go in, get in the Bronco, which, I mean, these Broncos, like, Ford has done such a good job with that Bronco of just playing to the guys like me who grew up in the 80s and 90s and they were like broncos are the best and just bringing that back and you know at an age where we can afford it and um giving you choices with bronco sport and bronco you know this is the big ones that we're gonna see um and so it goes it starts indoors and then it actually goes outside of the la convention center on an area that we call the north plaza which is closer to the um, Peacock Theater, and you kind of get to go ride outside, and you know, our show, the sun goes down at like 5 o'clock, 4.30, so you can maybe do a little bit of night ride, and see, the, you know, some city lights, and and come back in, and it's just super cool, but When you're there, make sure you go down to the Kentia Hall, which like I said is, is downstairs. So we were talking about kind of the classics and we do have a lot of really cool classic cars down there. Um, Black Classics Car Club is one of our kind of longstanding exhibitors that comes and shows some really cool old models. We see customized models. We have an expanded low riders this year, a uh, low rider section. You know, I mean, this is like something that is so deeply culturally rooted in Los Angeles culture. These are, in my opinion, really like art pieces pieces, right? Um, they're very, very cool. And so there's a lot to experience downstairs in the Kentia Hall, take some time and you can really meet the people who actually like, oh, this is my car. I built it. You know, oftentimes you'll see that South Bay pop-ups is our, our, our organizer of our low riders. It's a, a female led Latina who is awesome. Her name is Teresa. And we actually did a profile on her on our YouTube. So you can check it out. So one of our LA Auto Show stories, I um, learn a little bit more about low rider culture and experience that. Like I have a, a children's book for my daughter that's like talks about LA and it's like LA is it's like a mood board for LA. And like one of the things is like low ride cruising, right? It is so ingrained in the culture. So low riders, classics, aftermarket, really cool stuff. And some very cool vendors that sell that automotive related, you know, cool content, right? But while we're talking about cars that are basically works of art, I do want to let everybody know about two cool, and this may not be fully out there yet, so this might be a bit of an exclusive, but I can talk about it. We do have two very cool satellite halls this year. We have an area um, that is on the uh, main level by the West Hall. It's called the Petrie Hall. And that's going to be filled by West Coast Customs this year. And they are doing something very, very cool. They are, you know, and we know West Coast Customs, right? If you're my age, you know, Pit My Ride and, you know, all the celebrities, get, you know, we saw. And if you're a car kind of nerd like me, you might remember the uh, Mark Zuckerberg's wife's <laughs> Porsche minivan weird thing that, well, you know, West Coast Customs can take make your dream a reality, whatever it is, right? That's kind of what they do. And they do that better than anybody. But one of the things that they're going to do this year is show off some really cool collaborations and some new stuff that hasn't been seen before. So that is a bit of a gallery this year experience that you do not want to miss. And then this year, we have a very exciting collaboration with Monterey Motorsports Festival, which is, you know, normally known as just a, a place to go and see and, you know, experience Lamborghinis and, you know, Ferraris. And I mean, ultra luxury, high-end, really exciting product. And they're curating a gallery in our concourse hallway, which is the area that connects both buildings. So if you like, you know, if you're like a, I love cars and yes, of course I want to see the new cars, but I also want to see the things I can't see everywhere. We're touching everybody this year. We've got, we've got something for everybody. I mean, you're really going to be blown away by that Monterey Motorsports that the collection of metal that they have told me is coming is pretty mind boggling, honestly. <laughs> Sorry. 
Stay with America JR for more coverage from the 2024 LA Auto Show. Reporting from downtown LA, I'm Jason Residlo for AmericaJR.com.